हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज सोनाली चोपड़ा वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन द चेंजिंग जियो पोलिटिकल सिनारियो द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ रिलेशन ऑफन ब्रेक्स इन एन अटेम्प्ट टू एस्टेब्लिश डिप्लोमेटिक रिलेशन विद वन कंट्री द पोलिटिकल सिचुएशन विद अनदर कंट्री वर्सन्स इन द पास्ट अ सिमिलर सिचुएशन वॉज सीन बिटवीन चाइना एंड यूरोपियन कंट्रीज In fact, changes have been seen in Europe's relations with China due to many reasons. It is worth mentioning that in the Russia-Ukraine war, where many European countries openly opposed Russia, on the other hand, China was seen standing with Russia in this conflict, which indirectly turned the European countries against China. Along with this, the imposition of economic sanctions against Lithuania unbalanced trade with european countries aggression in the south china sea and the situation of tension in the taiwan strait have put china against european values and interests amidst all this chinese president xi jinping reached the european country in such a situation it is natural to raise the question why did xi jinping visit europe also what has been the history of relations between china and european countries Apart from this, what effect will this step of China have on the relations with European countries? So let's start today's discussion. China, a country moving forward with the policy of expansionism, often creates new controversies through its diplomatic moves. In this series, China went on a tour of European countries for the first time in the last 5 years, where the purpose of going was to give a new dimension to its relations with European countries regarding the relations between the two sides the European Union had mentioned a three dimensional view of China in the EU China strategic vision in 2019 under this the EU identified China as a partner an economic competitor and a systemic rival along with this efforts were also made to find solutions to the obstacles in economic relations at the EU China summit held in December last year The conference included issues such as Europe's growing trade deficit with China, Chinese subsidies and China's aggressive industrial activities that are damaging European industries. It is noteworthy that while China has a strong stance towards America in the current times, its approach towards Europe is considerably softer. According to experts, this is partly because China is more dependent on European countries and unlike with America, there seems to be less visible dominance struggle between china and european countries additionally there have been changes in china's relationships with several countries after the russia ukraine conflict prompting china to now work on correcting those ties talking about the interdependence between china and europe a report has revealed that europe exports goods worth about 600 million euros to china every day At the same time China sends goods worth 1.3 billion euros to Europe. Due to the strained relations the European Union's trade with China decreased by nearly 400 billion euros in 2022. Not only this the EU China Comprehensive Agreement on Investment has not yet received approval from the European Parliament. However despite all this China remains an important investment destination for European Union member countries. The main reason for this is China's extensive market. According to a study conducted in 2022, the share of the Netherlands, UK, France and Germany in the investment made in China during 2018 to 2021 was about 87%. From the perspective of direct foreign investment made by China, the top European nations are the UK, France, Germany and Hungary. More than 68% of Chinese FDI has been invested in the UK, France and Germany combined. Looking at these figures, it wouldn't be wrong to say that compared to Europe, China is more dependent on it. This is the reason why China is trying to pursue its own interest by improving its relations with Europe. China wants this business to grow further. For this, the visit of the Chinese president is very important because it is obvious that if the situation in europe worsens it will have a direct impact on china's economy while almost all the countries of the european union have taken a tough stance towards china greece and hungary are two european countries that have stood firmly with china 
It is noteworthy that Greece is considered to be the country with the world's largest merchant fleet and China is the biggest customer for Greek shipping companies. Not only this, if we look at trade related issues, the European Union seems to be stuck somewhere in the ongoing deadlock between America and China. It can be understood that when America put pressure on EU member countries and various European companies to maintain the export ban against China, the Netherlands followed America's instructions and announced a ban on the export of semiconductor equipment to China. However, other countries of the union did not support America against China in this matter. Meanwhile, countries in Central and Eastern Europe are seen taking a tough and confrontational stance towards China akin to America, while European countries like Germany and France are maintaining a balance between America and China. Considering the current situation, it wouldn't be wrong to say that European countries are leaning towards establishing their relations with China in a new direction. Now it is the turn of the Sunday special episode of this program in which we will talk about other important international news. Recently, Vladimir Putin took oath for a new term as President of Russia in a grand ceremony. America, Britain and many European countries have boycotted Putin's swearing-in ceremony in Russia. However, the ambassador from India was present in the program. It is noteworthy that Putin took oath as the president for the first time in 2000. Indians will no longer have to pay visa fees to travel to Thailand, although there was previously an exception on visa fees. It was set to expire on 1st May 2024, but it has now been extended. In this regard, the Thai cabinet has approved a plan to extend the visa exemption for Indian and Taiwanese tourists by six months. It's worth noting that the country aims to boost its economy by increasing the number of foreign tourists. Keeping this in mind, the Thai government has taken this step. Until 11th November 2024, travelers can enter Thailand without a visa. The Indo-Pacific region has an important place in global geopolitics, which is why many countries want to establish a stronghold in this region. In this series, America has announced a new strategic alliance, Squad. The United States, Japan, Australia and the Philippines will be the members of this group. The group aims to enhance South China Sea Alliance military interoperability, conduct additional joint patrols and exercises, and improve intelligence and maritime security cooperation. So viewers, we will stop today's discussion here and take note of today's question. Review the statement, China and the European Union complement each other. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.